Um, to generate progress, we need to uh, look at different phenomena and resist them because uh, we are in a struggle today where all medias, everything is getting optional. Uh, everything needs to be nice, beautiful, technological, politically correct, green. Um, and the architect of tomorrow probably needs to be conscious about them, about those phenomena, and somehow to treat them as a design tool to further promote a sustainable uh, answer. Um, I think, uh, of course, we know all of us that to create is to resist. Uh, but probably the resistance here is more of a, how to generate a livable conditions, uh, livable conditions through these phenomena. Uh, I think a concept cannot be explained. Uh, I think it's more of a process. Uh, it's a process of creating differently uh, because uh, it's not about selling a picture of an image. Uh, and what I'm saying is, for me, simply a late motive to further promote uh, new generations, new generations that are not uh, targeted only by uh, beauty and technologies or parametrics, but possibly by uh, more serious phenomena. And I think it's interesting to look at uh, hope as, a, as simply being able to say that architecture is great, architecture has a future, and somehow it's possible to drive uh, the future generation into a, a series of hopes.